Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Jael. I'm going to get right to the point. Um, let's go to the book of Isaiah, the book of um, Yeshayahu. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, starting at verse 18. And I will be reading this from the JPS, Hebrew English, Tanakh. I will not be reading in the Hebrew. I will be reading in the English. One day I will read it to you in the Hebrew. That is a promise that I intend to keep. But let us go to Isaiah chapter 45 starting at verse 18. Hallelujah. For thus said Yehovah, the creator of heaven, who alone is God, who formed the earth and made it, who alone established it. He did not create it a waste, but formed it for habitation. I am Yehovah, and there is none else. I did not speak in secret at a sight in a land of darkness. I did not say to the stock of Jacob, seek me out in a wasteland. I, Yehovah, who foretell reliably, who announce what is true. Who announces what is true. Come gather together. Draw nigh you remnants of the nation. No foreknowledge had they who carry their wooden images. And pray to a God who cannot give success. Speak up. Compare testimony. Let them even take counsel together. Who announced this aforetime? Foretold it of old. Was it not I, Yehovah? Then there is no God beside me. No God existed beside me. Who foretells truth and grants success. Turn to me and gain success. All the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. By myself have I swore. From my mouth has issued truth. A word that shall not turn back. To me, every knee shall bend, every tongue shall swear loyalty. And they shall say, only through Yehovah can I find victory and might. When the people trust in him, all their adversaries are put to shame. It is through Yehovah that all the offsprings of Israel have vindication and glory. Hallelujah. I'm not going to stand before you long, but I want to go back to... Verse 23, it said, by myself, I swore from my mouth and has issued truth, a word that shall not turn back. Now, this is what Yehovah is saying of himself to me. Yehovah is saying to me, every knee shall bend or every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall swear loyalty unto me. This is what Yehovah is saying. You notice Yehovah did not say. That to my son, every knee will bow and every tongue shall swear or confess. But he said unto me. And verse 24 is so key, yet so many people miss it. And they shall say, only through Yehovah can I find victory and might. The people would one day declare. They will turn away from their idol worship. The people of the Most High will return to Yehovah and they will bow before Yehovah. They will bend their knee to Yehovah. They will lay prostrate before Yehovah and they will acknowledge out of their own mouth. Only through Yehovah can I find victory. Can I find salvation? Can I find healing? Can I find might? Can I find redemption? Only through Yahuwah. This is what Yahuwah says of himself. Yahuwah did not mention anything about a Mashiach. He didn't mention anything about a son. So why do Paul in the New Testament say a portion of this verse and subscribe it over to J.C.? Why do Paul take the words of Yah 
and twist them and manipulate them to say something that Yehovah is not saying. Because we plainly see right here that Yehovah is speaking through the prophet and Yehovah is and Yehovah is saying that to me, not to my son, not to the Mashiach, but to me, Yehovah, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to me, every knee will bow and every tongue will swear. And they will say, only through Yehovah, not only through his son, not only through Christ, not through the cross, not through the blood, not through the Lamb of God, but only through Yehovah will I have victory. Will I experience salvation. That Yehovah is my strong tower. That Yehovah is my shepherd. This is what we will eventually say one day when we turn away from our wickedness. When we turn away from doing that, that vex Yehovah. That stirs up his jealousy. What stirs up the jealousy of Yehovah is when his people cling, create, make, or adopt the gods of the nations. That is what grieves Yehovah. That is what stirs his wrath upon his people. But the day will come when a remnant of his people will turn from their wickedness and do what is stated here. When the people can repent and acknowledge Yehovah as the one true God. And remember what he said of himself. That he is God. And besides him there is no other. So how can we embrace a doctrine written in another book. That states, that states things contrary to what Yehovah said when he speaks. Now how can Yeshua be from eternity and he sat at the right hand of the father when we have visions from prophets that say they saw one throne and only one sitting in it remember this is by vision they saw the creator it wasn't no two thrones so and Yehovah plainly states there is not one beside him so how are the New Testament, they speak of um, Yahabashai, Yehoshua, Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father. When Yehovah plainly states there is no one besides him. No one. No one with him. No one helped him. He needs no help. He needs no assistance. Yehovah Created the heavens and the earth. Not his son. Yehoah. Did all these things on his own. Hallelujah. And this is all I just wanted to share at this time. But go back and read Isaiah chapter 45. Read it honestly. Read it aloud. Take notes. Do whatever you must do to fully grasp. What Yehoah. Is saying of himself. And then you must ask yourself. Why you are not taking him at his word. That is all I wanted to share at this, at this time. This is your brother Yael. Shalom, love, and blessings. Till next time, family.